John Roselli has been fishing the canals of Port St. Lucie for years, until just the other day he made a startling discovery. I noticed a lot of fish kill on the freshwater side of the spillway. And he wasn't the only one shocked to find hundreds of fish dead, floating in murky waters. West side, it's a lot of dead fish, you know, from freshwater. I want to say at least 60, 75. I count it, but there's a lot more. And he's right. There are more. A lot more, in fact. Hundreds of floating fish carcasses stretch from Oak Hammock Park to the dike at Astor Road. But you don't have to see them to know they're there. The stench, the smell from the dead fishes, I have no idea how they just kind of all of a sudden popped out like that. So. To answer that question, we contacted Gabriella Ferraro with Florida Fish and Wildlife. The most common cause here in the state of Florida is a lack of oxygen. Photosynthesis is needed to create the oxygen that fish breathe. But when you have overcast skies and it persists for several days, ultimately there ends up not being enough uh, sunlight to power the oxygen-making process that supports fish life. And that's certainly one possibility, but without lab tests, there's no way to know for sure. The water looked nasty, stink, and it looked like oily, like a tarp. My line and hands are all greasy, like an oil or something was on the water. While the cause of the fish kill is unknown at this point, there's still another mystery. What's keeping the hundreds of scavenger birds away from a free meal? Because that's not normal. That's not a, an everyday occurrence. Vince Norman, WPTV, News Channel 5.